Hi everyone, welcome back to Becca Ellie's Books. Um, I'm Beck, and today I have my um, Daisy Journal getting along, and I wanted to give you a little update on how she's going. So, the last video I had done the cover, and I wanted to show you how I did the extra little bit on the back that I said I was going to do. So I've just cut a piece of the uh, large crocheted lace and stuck it on the back with the piece running down the spine. So you will see the stitches here and as I said I might put, I want to put some beads on there. So that's that. I haven't done anything else with the front or the inside but that's the next part of that. I have been working on my signatures. I, sent, I sat down and fussy cut all of the little, well, not really fussy, but I just cut out all of the little uh, elements from the kit that um, I wanted. I, cut, I think I cut all of them out. I haven't really fussy cut out these yet, but I'll get to that. Um, yeah, so, and then I've spent some time inking some of them. I cut a tag from this um, invoice thing. Uh, yeah, I've just spent a little bit of time um, in front of the telly just inking and cutting out. And then today I did a little bit of sewing on some parts and I made some ephemera. So let me show you those things. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I made up the little envelopes that came in the kit and I just stitched around that one. Same with the pocket, I stitched around the pocket so it will look like it's stitched on but I'll glue it down. Uh, same with the envelope. I stitched around the front of the envelope before I made it so that it's got some stitching on it. I made this little tag. I need to back it. Um, but I made this so that this is a pocket in the side here. So, and then this will be a tag. I thought that was really sweet. This little tag or journaling card I need to back that as well and I just stitched around these little images I pulled from these little boxes there's earth angels or angels on earth sorry and I just pulled out anything with daisies or daisy like flowers I don't know if I'll use them all but I pulled them out same with the flower fairy box. There's a couple of um, daisy ones, but I pulled out anything that was kind of looked daisy-ish. Even if they're not daisies, because I just wanted some options. I also found some Van Gogh. I oh, know these are the musha ones. Not really daisies, but cool images nonetheless. Um, and there was some Van Gogh ones. Here we go. Sorry, I've got myself into a bit of a mess. So I just pulled out those couple of images. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but they're there if I want them. Um, I think there's another one. Oh yeah, childhood. So there was some childhood um, ones as well. Maybe that's where this one came from. So I just stitched around, stuck it on this little ticket. I fussy cut out some of the daisies from one of the pages, put some of the labels around, and then stitched around the whole thing. And I will back that. <coughs> I made up this little envelope 
after I took the time to ink around every single edge. But I just thought it looked really nice done like that. That was another one with the little image with the daisies and just a ticket in the side there. Stitched around and I backed it with a page from the kit. And then I had these two big images which I just sewed together to make a pocket and that can be a floating pocket or I can tip it in if I want to. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I have stuck on all of my tabs. I haven't sewed them all in yet. Um, I was waiting for the glue to dry. I did some of them and then I had to go to bed. It was too late. <laughs> um, so I've just stitched a couple in there. And for some reason, I started on the back of the journal. <clears throat> and I actually got a bit messed, messed up. And I actually glued this on upside down on this page, which is actually in the back page. And I thought it was the front page. Uh, and then when I realized I pulled it up and it sort of left a few marks, but I've just cleaned them up and then inked them so they don't look really bad. And then I stuck this over the top to make a pocket. Oh, that's a bit big. So you can put stuff in that pocket and then you've got this pocket here as well. I thought that was pretty cool. They'll look nice all dressed when I'm ready to go there. And so I'm just going to be working my way through, filling it up with all of the goodies that I'm making. So I thought I should actually sit and make something with you. I haven't done anything on camera for a couple of days. So let's do this big tag. So I'm thinking that I want to put, um, did I already do that one? I didn't think, oh no, it's this one that I want to put on here because, can you see, these kind of match up with that image square there. Yeah, so these um, kind of match up and I just thought that looked really, really interesting. That's the one right there. Yeah. yeah, I'll do it there. So I thought I would stick that on, but I might do a background just to make that stamp pop a little bit. And what I used on my last one was this um, Tim Holtz paper. So we'll use it again because I thought that actually looked really cool. So how are we all today? Today, oops, sorry I bumped you. Uh, today is Tuesday for me. Um, and I'm on school holidays. So, to catch you up, what's been going on? Been doing some gardening. And obviously working on this journal. Uh, oh. We made this amazing, on Sunday night, we made this amazing chocolate mud cake, which we've made before so many times, and we've split it over two pans because uh, the first time we made it, it over, it just bubbled over the top and made a mess of Marvin. Um, I didn't think it would rise as much as it did, being a mud cake is pretty dense. But it rose and rose and rose and rose <laughs> and just made such a mess. So I decided to use my angel food cake tin, which is the one with the hole in the middle. And it was perfect. It came out on Sunday 
absolutely perfect this chocolate mud cake and then Glenn made a uh, chocolate ganache icing and put a couple of tablespoons of Baileys in it it is the best chocolate cake I've ever eaten like in my whole life it's so good um, I've only had one piece of it because it's a very rich but it is so good so stoked with that and we'll be making that again and the lemon cake that I made last week that we usually make a cake every weekend um, was so delicious I, I really recommend you try that lemon cake I don't know about you guys in Australia at the moment but we are in an inundated with lemons on our trees so um, anything using lemons I'm up for it I put it in my marinades I'm putting what else am I doing oh I've got the some lemons in my dehydrator at the moment I've got some preserved in the cupboard um, just in salt and water just to you know I can't waste it it's food um, so if you got any ideas for what to do with lemons let me know I've, I've juiced it and frozen it like all the things that I can think of but it's this coming in thick and fast and I don't know what to do with them all all right so what else have I got I've got some little tags so I actually stamped on some of these little tags just with some numbers and some script um, I couldn't find I only couldn't find one number stamp I also have these little tickets in red and black which are a nice little pop of color to put the red one so what I think I might do is just pick red today and I'll do a, a long skinny red one I'll just give it a bit of grunge nothing too serious and we'll do a little do a little label collage, eh? What else have I been doing? I've been trying to uh, so I've been preserving whatever I can in the dehydrator at the moment. Like I said, I've got lemon slices in there at the moment. Over the weekend, I've had herbs going. So I've got a massive, we trimmed back our rosemary bush. It's huge. It's ridiculous. So we trimmed that back and... Um, is looking great it looks really good um, but I had all this rosemary to do something with so I stuck it in the dehydrator and I've got a like jam-packed pint jar so what's that 500 mils yeah 500 mil jar full so um, heaps of rosemary some time not as much because my time bush needed a repot and it was all dying so I cut off a lot and I couldn't use it because it was all like woody um, but that's come back really nice so um, I dehydrated some of that I use it now fresh but for you know when it, they die back I like to preserve some for use later on herbs are expensive in the shops well, I think that looks pretty cute and I'm thinking if I put that over there that'll kind of give you a bit of balance 
Oops. What else has been happening? Oh, the other day. Oh, so right now, September, um, is my family's beginning of our birthday sweep. <laughs> Um, starting with my stepdad's birthday and I freaking forgot it. I couldn't believe it. I remembered it the next day. I kept writing the 21st down. I'm like, what am I forgetting today? It's the 21st of September. And then it dawned on me. And I was like, oh my God. So I called him. He doesn't mind. He's lovely. So very forgiving man. Um... And then the next day was the 22nd, which was my dad's birthday. He's passed. And then two days after that, the 24th is my mum's birthday. And I did remember hers, so I called her. And then the day after that, the 25th, was my niece's birthday. So I called her. She had a birthday party. She's six. Six. Maybe seven. Oh gosh, can I even remember? So she had a party and um, God, time flies, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go with that. And then, so she was telling me all about all her fun prezzies and that she was having a lollipop and pikelet sandwich for breakfast, <laughs> which on your birthday you can have whatever you want my sister's definitely good at that kind of special days stuff so and then while she was talking to me on the phone two of the puppies from next door broke into our backyard they are adorable they're little um cattle uh cattle dog cross border collies and they are so cute <clears throat> one of them's got uh the, the actual litter was 10 dogs believe that 10 and um they sold all the girls immediately like pretty much in the first um week after they had all their things done their shots and then um I only have the two boys left um, out of ten. It's pretty crazy. Alright, I like the butterfly, but maybe we'll use a sticker, hey? <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep bumping you. Yeah, so these little puppies came and um, I think Glenn put them out out of the yard maybe three times before he fixed the fence. I was like, what are you doing, mate? Just fix the fence. Because we have chickens. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind. But, yeah, got to look after your chookies. Um, not these ones. I feel like there's too much going on in, in the background for a um, a vellum one like that. Quite like that as well. I think they'll do both. So Glenn fixed the fence so they couldn't get back in. And the chickens are safe. Not that I really think that these little puppies would hurt them, but I wouldn't be able to live with myself if they were injured, you know, and puppies are... Puppies will be puppies, and it's not their fault. 
if um, something did happen, it wouldn't be the dog's fault because, you know, they're an animal. Okay, I think that looks cute. And we'll just do a bit of a grungy on the edge of that one. So I'm just going to keep working on this journal. Um, but I do have a couple of other things to, to do as well. Uh, I've joined joined a, um, a swap, tag swap with um, Oak House Journals. So I'm excited about that. But that's I don't have to send that yet, but I'm going to start working on that. So I will film it, but I don't think I'll show it until after the person receives it. There we go. I think that looks really cool. I will back it and stitch around it. There's another tag. So I think that will do today. I will, I'll keep working on it and I'll show you uh, my progress. But I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.